sitting on the left of the chair, both from the Netherlands. And welcome back to the Nottingham Tennis Centre for the British Open Wheelchair Tennis Championships of 2017. We've already seen the men's singles semi-final between Alfie Hewitt and Gordon Reid. And Alfie Hewitt, the number four seed, coming through over the number two seed by two sets to one. So he'll play Gustavo Fernandez in the final tomorrow. Here we are with our women's doubles final for Dutch Affair. At our end of the court, the commentary end with Marilyn Boos and Dida de Groot. Over against uh, Dana Mathewson. And okay, they just call KJ. We'll get explanations from that and about that when uh, Lucy Schuchert joins me and she will do very shortly. That's the uh, Dutch pairing. Number two in the world and number six in the world. And any moment now, she will put her headphones on with Lucy Shuka and she'll be here speaking to not only this nation but several other nations as well. <laughs> Look at this, she, she can't wait. Are you sorted? Shall I press your button? <laughs> there you are, in all your radiant glory. Welcome, world number seven. Thanks, Bob. Nice to be here. Hey, it's good to have you. How are you? All right? Yeah, really good, actually. Excellent stuff. How was your week? Yeah, it's been a bit of a mixed week. Um, I had a really good start in my first match. Six love, five love up. And then I took it to a third set. <laughs> Why did you <laughs> do that? Well, you just made life so difficult for yourself, not you? It's nice to be out here, isn't it, in front of the British public. <laughs> right, so what are you expecting from this one? Um, well, KG and Dana are a bit of a scratch pairing. I think they've played together now and again here and there. Um, but they both have some very good shots between them, a lefty and a righty. And then you've got obviously the silver medalists with Baus and Dida. Um, and I think uh, they will put up a very good match. If they stick to their game plan, um, I think they could put the others under a lot of pressure. Yeah, we saw uh, in Rio just how good the Dutch are. And uh, they don't have that. Um than they had for so many years who, who just dominated everything and, and you lot went oh so glad she's retired now I know I think uh, it would have been really nice if someone had been able to to beat her in that time but um, you know you've got to give full respect to Esther she was a phenomenal player a phenomenal athlete and you know just took the, the game to a whole other level in professionalism All right, let's concentrate on the match we'll talk more at the next change of ends KG serving left a little bit short there by Dida which uh, you just can't afford to do against these players hope that rain stays away looks a little bit uh, black overhead but we've been lucky so far so we'll keep our fingers crossed it carries on that way Just how much tape Maya Lan's got on her arm there, on her left arm. It's an awful lot there, isn't it? And also strappy on the top as well. Yeah, Marge has a uh, hypermobility, I believe. Um, so she generally has two strips of tape, um, one either side on each shoulder. Um, but yeah, she's got some extra support for this match. Maybe after her, you know, long matches this week. I think, is it two three set matches and a, a tough one yesterday against uh, Yui? You've done that before, haven't you? You <laughs> must have done. I'm not sure I have. Have you not? I don't think I have, but I'm a little bit smaller than Dida, so she's, uh, she's got a long reach. <laughs> she looks totally embarrassed as she comes to the back of the court. Yep. 
Just got caught there, I think, with the wind. Picks up and drops it's off. Tricky, isn't it? Yeah, you know, this week's been tough uh, from day one since we've been here. Raining, not raining, raining again. And it's August in England, what do you expect? Yep. Exactly. Be nice to have some more sunshine. Oh, she sends, isn't it? That's <laughs> up. Okay, right. Late call by the umpire. <laughs> you, you got it before she did. There, that's very good. Anyway, first game is nailed by the uh, American stroke South African pairing. Have you uh, ever tried to say her name in full, by the way? Koji's number uh, name in, in full, because it's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Something along the lines of. Go on, go for it. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. I'll stick to Katie. Uh, I actually, actually think that, that the surname's not too bad. It's actually when you combine it with the first name, it's uh, complicated, shall we say. seem to be striking the ball a bit harder now. For the uh, world's top ten on the court here. Fifteen. We'll talk about the uh, Dutch production line in a moment because they just seem to bring lots and lots through and the reasons for that perhaps after this game's completed. Uh, scratch pairing you're talking about I have two break points Good cross court exchange going on there between the two. Dana just going, ah, oh, had a chance there on a racket to do something with it. Just couldn't. Just didn't really commit to the drop shot if that's all the angle that she was going for.
<laughs> I wonder who's got to go. <laughs> nah. Good setup. Just couldn't quite commit to that volley. Drag themselves back through that eventually. Two break points down. Made it uh, one game all. This is the uh, women's doubles final in Ottium between the uh, Dutch pairing and Nelson uh, and KG of USA. So I forget. It will be Dana Matheson to serve at one all. Great striking there by Dana. She's very low margin for error, so she's uh, she actually strikes the ball quite low and flat over the net, which makes it quite tough to, to go back. Just died on the court. Can have got it. The wind of uh, top spin. Yeah. Brings it down. I think Dida's still finding her confidence with uh, the shorter balls and the volleys. You know, she's a very, very good baseline player. She strikes a heavy ball and moves incredibly well. for the uh, drive half volley down the line. Didn't quite work. Just, just a little bit more margin for it there, isn't it? KG there. Great point. 
for the Dutch pair. Two points for the American and South African pair to uh, the two love up. Okay, so it's two one down before long here. Yeah, oh, through the middle. You talk about the pace that she exerts on that wow. ball. That was a good example of it, wasn't it? Right yeah. down the middle. Great, great return and then a great follow up shot there. So this Dutch project, eh? <laughs> um, uh, I take it that we, we've kind of been looking at it and seeing how maybe we can not, not kind of mirror it, but, but maybe take elements of it to, to build into our system. Yeah, I think um, they have a, a good set up um, even from the start so from the government I understand they get a sports chair every five years so when you're talking anything from you know up to probably about five thousand pounds for you know a, a bespoke sports chair like a tennis chair you get that straight away from the government so mm. for um, the UK you have uh, people that um, you know that there's fundraisers there's uh, grants there's charities out there but you don't get given it from a start. So by getting that sports chair, it starts them off. Um, they also have a very good uh, setup within the national governing body. Um, they have national training, which there's compulsory attendance. Um, and they, you know, they all train with each other. So you know, you've got players playing above themselves against better players, and you've got players playing below themselves against the maybe the lower ranked players. So they're all helping each other get better. Yeah, we can hear you now. A bit better than we could before. I'm not quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> Taking your voice. That's all right. Straight down the middle there from KG. It's a good tactic in the doubles. That's probably one of the longest, if not the longest rallies of the match. I think we could get a few more of those in this match, don't we? Yeah, definitely. I think so. I think you'll uh, you'll find that Baus gets a lot of balls back. She's a, a bit of a wall to play against. And KG and Dana are definitely doing a good job at you know pinning her. On serve at the moment. I'm not finding it easy to hold on to serves anyway. There's one break, one nearly break, and there's another break point. Uh, Oops, come out way. Yeah. Okay. I'm 
ask you, when the ball's coming into the chair like that, when is the best time to hit it? Because I've, se I've seen a couple of people that had to lean into the ball as it's coming into the chair. You're going, ah, when's the right time to take it? Early or later? I think it's probably uh, a little bit dependent on the player. Um, you know, when I'm strapped into my chair, I can't move out of the way of the ball. Um, Dida obviously has a lot more ability to kind of lean and to to get out of the way. So, but she also has longer limbs. So, it is literally it's be a player preference. I don't think it's ideal for the ball to be jamming you up anyway. So, the ideal point is to be, you know, at a decent distance from the ball to have that really good strike. We'll see it happen. I'm sure again before too long, but. Uh yeah, so she likes to take it kind of front on as the ball's coming into her body. It's quite interesting to see how she takes it and she kind of leads into it. Okay. Not well, there's a break. Two games all. And, uh, two games all. So that break comes immediately back. Remember the lolly sticks back to, uh, to adjust your mic. <laughs> it's all good stuff. Should I probably use one of my one P pieces or something like that? Well, would that help? No? Yeah, is that okay? Because it works. Okay, good. He's a cameraman and a sound man. And th there's nothing he can't do, basically. <laughs> With a lolly stick. With a lolly stick. Very effective. It's high tech stuff, that, you know. It certainly is. Did not, you eat the not any of lolly stick. Did you eat the lolly first? That's <laughs> no. the question. I think it's a coffee stirrer, but <laughs> he's bent it now. Look. Understand miscommunication yeah. between the two. And you thought with these two, quite an established pair, it would be the other pairs have uh, the communication problems. Yeah, should have been, should have been probably Dida's forehand there. If you're going to take those volleys out of the air, you've got to put them away, haven't you? Yeah, don't be putting it to Dida's forehand, that's for sure. Because you're pretty much uh, sitting target when you do that. If you don't put it away the first time of asking, you, you're kind of in no man's land, aren't you? Yeah, for sure. And KG was uh, covering her in, in case it went over her head and it just opened up the other side of the court. Yeah, just slightly pulled it wide. It's not working for all that wing at the moment, is it? That's where most of the errors are coming from. down the middle there, just KG couldn't quite control getting it back. Oh. Got it right that time. Certainly did. It worked. Again, the serve is uh, being problematic, or proving problematic. Every single service game got to uh, very close to either break point or juice.
good get. Oh, oh just long. Yeah. She ran, there was no, no, there's not a single further inch of room she could have used there to get No, her great ball. push. Just couldn't quite control it when she got there. to win that point they have no right to win that point at all no but that's the uh, that's the love of Adida she's so tall she's got such a great reach and her her movement is ridiculous again and serve Game's been about five minutes. <laughs> Just too much. Unfortunate double fault there from KG. So at that stage. Another break point for the Dutch. It's a great return. It was great return. She she came so far in too. You see the movement there on that first serve. Well, she she just. I don't know why she sit back a bit on that one. She didn't. You know, the uh, wheelchair was rotating quite quickly. The wheels of that were rotating very quickly. She moved forward um, and had the desired effect. So they've got the break again. 3 2, the Dutch lead in the first set. Um, you're not finished for the week. You've got another, another match to come with um, Mr. Lapthorne. Is that right? Yeah. No, well, um, I've got a warm Andy up. He's got his doubles final. And then uh, I've got the mixed doubles final with Huday today against uh, Alfie Hewitt and Dana. How did that combination come about, you, you and Stefan? <laughs> um, I think we've always said that we'd like to play mix, like we get on very well. Um, you know, he's, he's an absolute gentleman. Uh, and he came up to me on um, one of the evenings before the, you know, the sort of signing time had been done and said, uh, Lucy, uh, mixed doubles? How'd you <laughs> And I was like, yeah. <laughs> It's a, it was unbelievable to play with him yesterday. Just uh, his, his shots, his movement, um, you know, being on a court next to him, I was pretty much sat in a corner or, or at the net and he could just play singles and I had a tiny little area to do. So if you win, does he <laughs> buy you a chair like his? I don't think I'd ever be able to sit on a chair like his, so uh, he could buy me one, but it would be sitting there useless. So 3-2 to the Dutch pair. Who've uh, obviously got the break, and it will be my line first to serve. She has a, a very strange serve rhythm, doesn't she? Yeah, I think, um, <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Baus is one of those players that, you know, when you watch her, her technique is maybe slightly 
n not natural. You know, she's very much learnt the sport, I would say. She's got quite a late forehand. It's a very round arm, isn't it? Yeah, so it's, it's quite straight on the forehand and the serve is, you know, sometimes she just makes the ball, gets the ball in and that's all you've got to do sometimes. But it's not the most powerful um, and you wouldn't look at it and go, that's technically Aesthetically correct. Aesthetically, it's not very nice at all. Uh, but it works for her. It that's does. That's the important thing, I suppose. It's one of those things that quite often you're expecting a soft serve and somehow, sometimes she just comes out with a bullet and you kind of a bit unexpected. Well she's in trouble here though. Still two points against the serve. Could be one of those matches, couldn't it? Break after break after break. Yeah, very level at the moment. Three games all then. First set. That didn't take quite as long. But um, everybody's having problems on their serve, which is why we are where we are. And Dana Mathewson of America. Oh, this is number one seeds against the number two seeds in this competition. Oh, two seeds serving. Three again. Flags are uh, moving but, uh, readily from the flag poles in Nottingham. Did he just left that ball far too short? Didn't quite attack it. Just gave her Dana that opportunity to put it away. Short from Dina there. 15, First time today, just feeling a little bit of rain in the air as well, just a few little spits and spots. Shh. Oh, oh, sorry. Don't say that dreadful right. word. Whoa. Oh, that was a seagull. <laughs> it was right in the area from seagull. Don't want to say anything better. <laughs> don't. <laughs> just don't. Far too short. Straight to Cagey's racket, in fact. Both pairs are playing quite centrally. They're not really using angles or using the tram lines at the moment. I think when someone does use it, they generally winning the point. Mm. <laughs> Horrible, that. <laughs> Even the double bounce, you can't get to that. Sure, bounce will be secretly loving that one.
problem with our scoreboard there. Yep, that's the um, score as it is. The value of run out of numbers across the way. <laughs> no, there we go. 4 3 to the uh, the Dutch pairing on top and uh, looking quite good. Oh, some um, news the last couple of days that the uh, Masters will be in Loughborough in November. Yeah. Yes, it'll be. Um different venue this year after being at the uh, the Olympic Park. I think the courts will be uh, maybe more suitable for wheelchair tennis because the courts at Olympic Park are very quick. Uh, so Loughborough will be more of a, um, I suppose, a true bounce acrylic, similar to here and similar to the indoor courts here. Um, and hopefully, yeah, we'll get you know a lot of spectators at the university. Mm. That's the one good thing is it will still be term time back end of November. Um, so hopefully there'll be a few more students come and look. It's, it's a bit of a shame it's away from London, but um, I know cost is a consideration as well these days. Yeah, I think uh, the last two events that have been um, in London, it's been a fantastic event. You know, as players, it's been a real perk to the end of the year. It's felt special there. You know, you're in and amongst Westfield, so, you know, you had other things to do once you were out of... You and your shopping. <laughs> Well, I didn't know, choke on my coffee there when you smashed that. Not just <laughs> shopping, like places to go and eat. You know, you weren't just stuck with the one restaurant that you know you quite often do at, at you know tournaments on tour. You just felt the oh buzz. Way up your hitting partner's just behind you. There he is. Yep, Mr. Lapthorn there. Does he, ever stop, does he ever stop talking? Never. Do you ever stop talking, Lapthorn? <laughs> ever? He's giving us yeah. a dab right there. <laughs> <laughs> been having fun training with each other actually at the National Tennis Centre, so uh, oh I okay. think that's been good for both of us, or maybe better for him because he's in the final and I didn't make it this time. He'll be on the court later on. Nancy <laughs> Cottrell up against uh, their number two seeds. It's Brian Barton and David Wagner yep. of America. They're uh, fourth on, so we've got uh, men's doubles final with Uday and uh, Hifa to come next, and then we've got Fernandez and Schaefer's up against them. That's on uh, third on centre court. This is the second match on centre court. And then uh, uh, that, that reprobate to the right hand side of you and his mate uh, up against the Americans. Looking to. Uh, what, you, what are your thoughts on the um, Fernandez against Alfie matchup for tomorrow? Well, um, I think they're both quite similar players. They'll both be hitting and striking the ball really well. There's kind of no fear. Um, very aggressive style. Um, they both move incredibly well. Um, so, yeah, you know, Alfie got the better of Gustavo at Roland Garros, and then Gustavo got the better of Alfie at, at Wimbledon. So it's pretty level in the sort of the head-to-head -head this year so far. Number three in the world now as well, Alfie. Yeah, he's, uh, he's come on. You know, I think it's, uh, it's fantastic for British tennis. You know, you've got um, Alfie pushing Gordon um, in the men's there. So, and, you know, it's exciting. Yep, it's very exciting indeed. And um, you're going you're gonna to have to be the lone farrow at the moment with uh, Jordan out of the uh, out of the mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some great news there that she's uh, she's pregnant. Um, I know they've been trying for a while, and it's been something that they've loved and wanted. You know, really wanted. Um, still got two players that are on the sort of on the program. She's um, here today. I think Jordan. I've seen her around. So she's yeah, here. we've got Lauren Jones, um, our British number three, and, and Louise Hunt. So, uh, yeah, it's still, uh, there's still some uh, British players there. Don't you worry, Bob. Well, you're top ten, though. We're going to lose sight of the fact that you are our only top ten player at the moment. It's all right. Mm. I've got big shoulders. Yeah, well, you can take it, can't you? Up against this lot. But, um, I say this is an interesting one. There's no real pattern in this match, yet, is there? You, know, you kind of expect that maybe the more established pair, the Dutch pair, um, there's just some little running repairs going on with them. Um, the chair there on the far side. I think KG's upholstery is uh, <laughs> either come away, but you know, a bit of gaffer tape sometimes uh, solves the problem. Everything out, isn't it? Pretty much, but um, it's, it's kind of been break after break, pretty much in this. Um, some, some decent rallies, but as you, you mentioned, you know, there's, there's quite a bit of width on this court, which is not being used at this stage. Yeah, I'm surprised that um, Baus and uh, Dida aren't using sort of Dida's big shots at the moment. Um, you know, she strikes the ball really well, so if it was me, I'd be trying to set her up to, to strike the ball. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll wait and see. You know, the, the other girls are, are targeting Baus a little bit more, so I think, sh you know, they're 
not quite able to do that as a tactic right now. Well, Didi's got the the balls, which I think must be new balls. Seven games in. Okay, can I go to the right? Is it nine? Is it nine, I think. Nice, I was going to say they don't yeah. look brand new right now, no. but no, I could be mistaken. Yeah, My yeah, eyesight's right. getting old a bit. <laughs> she is them. They have the break. Four three. It's a great first serve there from Dida. Great court coverage by the American South African pair. Let's get yeah. that ball back. Good pick up by KG there and good communication. Dana got out of the way. Forehand. <laughs> That's a slap, isn't it? There it is. Okay, just wait to get into a hitting zone and off it goes. I did not want to be in the way of that one. Are you coming back? there KG maybe a little bit of miscommunication Oh, she made her work for that. Really Sad did. Good. Not a chance to get across that. So they back up the break. And, uh, five games to four. And the Dutch pairing, number one seeds. Looking good. Five, five, three. Five, three, yeah. Five, three. First set. Yeah. I was distracted by that noise in the background. I thought somebody <laughs> brought their quad bike with them. <coughs> it's uh, quite noisy in the back of the court. But um, it's only disappeared. It's generational, is it? Yep, 5 3. Okay, just to clarify. After the Dutch bear. On to my right, just stabbing here, mm. talking yeah. with the girls as always. Mm. It's all going in one direction right now, isn't it? Can they all close it out? Point. Two points for the set. He's just looking across, going, "What's Lucy do commentating?" What's she yes. just? <laughs> What's she doing there? <laughs> Six 
Job not done yet. Straight into KG's hitting mm. zone, unfortunately, there. Pull this one back. Shame. Nice rally, which um, nice for that to have been one with a winner. Yeah, just uh, just didn't quite get it over the net there. Great setup though up until that point. Great rally. Actually, a oh, room. Yeah, she got it. Hanging in there well are the number two seeds. Looks like they were done for all money in that game and for the set. But held on by four, which means the Dutch will have to come out and serve for the set at 5-4. And for new balls. So Thank you very much. It's nine games there. It just shows I can't count. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's not, that's correct. It's nine games. Um, so, well, aside from the weather, how's the week been? It's, it's a lovely facility, this, isn't it? I mean, they use it for the grass court event back in June. That's a precursor to Wimbledon. And obviously you have this event here in August. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a great event. The, um, you know, the tennis centre is, is great. The courts are great. Um, good space around them. Uh, good for spectators to watch. You know, you've got you guys here now for live streaming. Um, which is a, a whole other level to this event. So um, I think it's great that the you know the public that aren't here on site can can watch it from their uh, from their sofas with a cup of tea. And that, that well, yeah, a cup of cold coffee now, as it turns out. But still, <laughs> um, but the good thing is, inexorably, it's all heading in the right direction. I think Rio 2016 was a, was a catalyst for that. Success from that, six medals from that. People go, oh, our wheelchair tennis players are good, aren't we? And suddenly that's kind of brought things forward, uh, Alfie winning the French Open, uh, Gordon and Alfie winning Wimbledon, all those kind of things help the momentum going along. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a great sport to play, but it's also a great sport to watch. It's exciting. Um, you know, the sport is becoming even more professional and uh, obviously the funding from the UK Lottery, you know, alongside the Tennis Foundation just shows what it enables the athletes to be able to do. Next 
to move on a great deal. Actually, 2012, I suppose, was the, the first real catalyst for it, but uh, 2016 <laughs> seems to have taken it on even a stage further now, which is which is good to see. And we have um, two finals now involving Brits. Uh, the uh, men's singles final involving a Brit tomorrow. And do we have the quad final with two Brits later today? We also have uh, Andy Lapton in the quad singles final. Yes, that that's right, because Andy's in that tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, it won't let me forget that, of course. <laughs> Three set points for the Dutch. A few probably careless mistakes from uh, Dana and KG. Oh. That'll do it. First set ramped up. Looks like it was nip and tuck with a uh, break pulling, break pulling, break, but the number one seeds kind of as we expected to a certain extent, I think, coming through six games to four in the first. Yeah, but the um, you know Dana and KG have definitely put up a good fight. Um, be interesting to see how the second set pans out. What can they do, if anything, to change the game plan? It, it seems to me very often they're both ending up in virtually the same position on the court. That's, that, I imagine that's probably because they haven't played together very often. I mean, talking about on the baseline, you're looking for somebody to make a move or maybe someone to advance a bit and they seem to be quite static in that respect, maybe back on the baseline. Yeah, well, you've got a lefty and a righty playing with each other. So um, there'll be an element of, you know, when they're on one side of the court each, they're, they've got their backhands down the middle. And then when they've switched, then they'll have their forehands down the middle. So, um, you know, potentially, it, you know, causes some, you know, miscommunication now and again. And, you know, if you're not on it, then you'll have those mistakes or clashes or, you know, the, the court coverage does, you know, pick holes in it, so to speak. I think a conversation between them, but because there's a slight difference in the accent, I think <laughs> Kenji's having to lean in to actually understand <laughs> what uh, Dana's saying. It's actually, where's the obviously the Dutch girls? Know each other very well. They've been together as a partnership for a while now and uh, working. She, she's, she's a phenomenal tennis player, isn't she? Number two in the world at the moment is Dida. Yeah, she's uh, she's come up, you know, really quickly, which I think many of us expected her to do when she finished her education and just went full time into tennis. Um, the physical ability of her is phenomenal. Um, you know, she strikes the ball so well. She's got great movement. Um, so yeah. Just example there, just how how good she is in the chair. She she almost makes it talk, doesn't she? <laughs> she can maneuver that around. It's very normal. She just oh. gets the ball. Like Just left it short there, unfortunately, and uh, Dida took full advantage of it. Judgment there from uh, Dina. Thank you. 
seems that they've uh, both pairs have started with a few careless mistakes in this first first game. Force errors in this opening game. It's uh, going to reflect your pattern for the first set as well, where we uh, do a lot of breaks of serve. Looks like we essentially could have one here too. Cheeks. Frustrated at herself with that one. Striking there from the girls. <laughs> oh, your lunch is arrived. How nice. <laughs> How lovely. Got a match later, what so. Uh, yeah. Some chicken, some couscous, some veg. Mm -hmm. Very jealous. Very jealous. What I mean, I suppose that's kind of what happens. It's a partnership that haven't played together much. Just kind of get an understanding. I think sometimes as well, even when you've played with someone many times, those those occasions can happen. Hopefully, few and far between. But when it does, you have two chairs colliding together. It can be a bit disastrous. It's all very nice, that one, right? <laughs> My lunch. Yes. You can get your beady eyes off it. I could put a request in for you if you need the. Could you do that? Well. I'm okay at the moment. So, a break happened. One loved you. I don't want you to get for it to go cold. Yeah, yeah. You turn it off. Yeah. You go and have your lunch. I have my lunch. Go and I'll have your lunch. I'll sit I'll next to you to keep you company. And I'll, and I'll talk to myself for a bit. <laughs> so, uh, 6 4. One love to the Dutch in the second set. And it will be. Either the group to serve. So a woman demolished a lunch in three minutes flat. Watch this, it's great. Dida's serve has gone. Double fault. But, uh, break in the opening game. May well be retrieved. Game because um, they constructed a nice point up to that point with uh, that pickup. But, um, they're getting a nice free point if you like. 15 30. Oh. 
Second double in this game. Break in the opening game may well be retrieved straight away. Two break points. Expecting that, the uh, strongest player on the court with the best serve and the best all-round game. Conceding a serve, but uh, yeah, we saw quite a bit of that in the first set. Uh, so we see it beginning of the second. One game all, 6-4 to the uh, Dutch pairing in the first set. set up point by the American and uh, although she worked she did work very hard on that point he did a group couldn't uh, quite get the point or indeed keep the ball in play for much longer But um, comes the the rank to the two Dutch women, a few problems. Well, they came and went in a bit of a rush, didn't it? That's a good hold, puts them in front by two games to one, second set. 6-4, they lost the first. Still to come today, we have the men's doubles final. That's up next. Stefan Uday and uh, Chris Pifa of France. Number one seeds against Gustavo Fernandez and Michael Schaefers of the Netherlands. That will be third on court after this is completed. And then fourth and finally today on court number one. On day number five here in Nottingham, it will be the quad doubles. And Brian Barton and David Wagner of the USA, number one seeds, up against Britain's number two pairing of uh, Anthony Cottrell and Andy Lapthorne. Is she still there? Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, he's not, not around, but we'll see loads of him later on today. And of course, he'll be in the singles final as well tomorrow. And just to remind you, we'll have the men's singles final tomorrow. Alfie Hewitt beating Gordon Reid in three. First match of the day. With three, Alfie winning the first set, Gordon winning the second, and uh, oh, cracking at the match, hour and 45 minutes or thereabouts between them. Alfie through to play Gustavo Fernandez of Argentina tomorrow in the men's singles final. That's tomorrow. Back here on the court, center court, Nottingham. Women's doubles final, 6-4 to the touch pairing, 2-1 at the moment to the combination 
of the US in South Africa. I think I hear a rumbling, which probably means that Lucy Shuker is back on the microphone again. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I had my lunch. You've been eating all of it. Look, you've left some. Oh, I've just left a few beans. Okay. <laughs> your food of choice by the way for a for a match the um it actually came from the uh the tournament you know food all oh, right um do you, do you not have a rider do you not say this is what i have i'm number one in <laughs> britain i should be having this <laughs> no okay. unfortunately i don't have my own chef traveling <laughs> with me but the food here to be fair has been very good i think they've uh they've worked really well in the tennis foundation with this tournament you know alongside the the guys here at Nottingham Tennis Centre. I think this year has been a, everyone's sort of recognised it's taken another step up in, yeah. in terms of level that they're uh, delivering for us players. And the food as well. There you go. It's I don't like that serve. <laughs> I just don't like that serve. I, I, I know I said that several times during the Paralympics as well, but it obviously works for her, but it just doesn't look aesthetically very pleasing, that's all. Yeah. I think as a player, I think I can agree, but you know, like you say, it works for her. Great drop shot from Dana. Bastard managed to scrape it up. <coughs> no, she had oh. put it away. I didn't think she'd put it away, but she did. Thought Nita was going to get to that. Yep, KG put it away there. Though you did mention this earlier in the when we were chatting about it, that occasionally she'll come up with a really big serve, yep. which you don't see from anywhere. It's normally just kind of floated in, and suddenly she'll come up with one out, out of the blue, which has got quite a bit of velocity behind it. Yeah, velocity or that one there was you know wide, pushed her KG out wide, and you know got a, a short return. A more competitive second set. Wind seems to have died a little bit right now, which makes it a bit easier for the players. Yeah, it's warmed up a little bit, not a lot, but it's warmed up a little. I think. striking the ball a little bit harder this time. Still not much use of the angles though. <laughs> Road rage. Kieran Deal was laughing there. <laughs> <Not really. laughs> they won the point as well after all of that. <laughs> Not quite sure how. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dana definitely called the ball, but. Bit of bumper cars. KG still took it. <laughs> Big smiles.
Ooh. Nearly caught some in the crowd. He's had a few uh, miscommunications between them when one's calling and the other one's then taking the ball. That's too good. Shot. That's too good. So those two break points, only one was required. And the Dutch move in front and seem to be moving on their way to taking this final. Three games to two. They lead in the second. So up next, men's final. Uh, Houdet, FIFA against um, Fernandez and Schaefer's. That's the uh, combination. What? We try to tell us. Napa is telling me that I'm warming him up at two o'clock on court six. Two o'clock, oh, 25 minutes. <laughs> Followed okay. by a dab. Okay, full of fights. What is all this dab business? Ah, uh, he's a character. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't answer my question. Uh, <laughs> what is I this could. dab stuff? <laughs> he's a character. What goes on tour stays on tour, Bob. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, okay, right, okay. <laughs> I'll find out in due course. <laughs> I'll get it out of him. Yeah, that's West Ham boys stick together, you see. <laughs> well, uh, we was discussing the new season, which um, starts next weekend for us against uh, United, our first game. I think. What do you think to that pitch, then? I hear it all from Lapo. Do you have to have a pair of binoculars to, yes, see, the, uh, to see the match? Yes, I do. <laughs> Too far. No, I want to change my seat this year, but I can't because they've sold out again. So oh. I'm in exactly the same seat. Long way back. Getting the only exercise I normally get for a week. Get up 65 sets of stairs. <laughs> was what it seems like it anyway. <laughs> that could have been quite nasty. Could have taken off uh, Bowser's head a bit there. Yeah, th that uh, racket was a little bit closer to her head than she would have liked. Dida's not serving as well as she normally does today. Yeah, she goes through, uh, I'd say, peaks and troughs in her matches sometimes. Um, serving. She can go from serving bullets to serving double faults. Something that I think her, she's working on with her coach. She's been very aware of it, I think, especially since the, the Paralympics. You know, there she's just put in a, a beautiful first serve. We know she's got the power off both wings as well. Her backhand and her forehand are both very powerful. Forehand in particular. Tomorrow's match, she's up against Yui, so it's a little bit like David and Goliath. One and two in the world, yeah. Yeah. Second bout. Wings picking up. Yeah, best running of the match, probably. And um, again, Saz, it's point to one on a mistake. 
or a, a lack of retrieving. Definitely, uh, Dutch player definitely seem to be targeting Dana at the moment. She's handling it extremely well. Point. Give it back to parity again. Huge forehand there from the <laughs> That's leader. massive, isn't it? <laughs> That's a great where you could just up the ante and have that extra little string to your bow and go, oh, here comes here comes a howitzer, so you go, oh, yep. try and get this back as you can. I've had the pleasure of playing with her a yeah. few times and uh, my role is just to set her up and then she can just keep Fire swinging. Fire the bullets. Yep. <laughs> Follow up with a double fault. When she gets that first serve in, it just seems to put them, uh, you know, up in the rally. She gets such good pace on the ball. goes help out with that. Yeah, it was long and that means they back up their break. And go 4 2 up, and they're two games away potentially now from winning this final. I'd say the uh, slightly ominous look at the sky. It's um, brightened up a little bit, it's getting windier, but uh, the rain fortunately has stayed away so far. This forecast certainly was for a couple of hours of potential rain. Got through that. Why not change the whole week, eh? It's yeah. been raining, unfortunately, yeah, so <laughs> pretty much every day. Yeah, so today, it's at the 11 o'clock um, till 1 o'clock was pretty much forecast. Well, we got past that. It's way to 2 now, so... I'll check my little uh, weather app at the moment, see how we're looking. Let's hope it stays away for the rest of the matches. I know I'm due on later for, uh, for mix. No, oh, they right when you come. <laughs> Oh, that's a great volley from KG there. Be looking forward to uh, to the uh, Canadian and American tour that will be coming up in August, September. Hopefully some warmer weather and some sunshine. Yes. Clear. Clear all the way through now. Yeah. Is that on the BBC weather app? No, this is on my little weather app. <laughs> which uh, says 2 o'clock right through till 6. There. Oh, and then this stupid comes on court and it's got a big black flag. <laughs> <laughs> is that just my... Uh, <laughs> is that just my happiness or is there... <laughs> are you talking about the weather still here? <laughs> Beautifully played. <laughs> nice point for the Dutch. Trying to get back to the tennis. <laughs> Who are uh, getting it ever closer to uh, taking this match. Nice point there.
Oh. Just let that drop just a yeah. little bit too low. Well, is that also a case of two of them looking at each other going, well, who's going to take this? It's always Dida's, in my opinion, on that forehand down the middle. Down the centre there, from Babs. Frustrating <laughs> <laughs> uh, error there from Dida. So close now, they want to get this done and just do as quickly as they can. <laughs> that was one of mine, that was. I've yet to see you play tennis, actually, Bob. Coming on later? No, I don't think so. I need a great rush to show you my prowess, to be honest. <laughs> Lovely volley there yeah, from Bauf. Yeah, beautifully done. Just midway through that point, I'm just about to observe that, that, that going back to what you were saying earlier on about the angles, a couple of times, I thought Dida might have gone across court and try to take the player out of court, but she went down the centre a couple of times. Yeah, I'm not really sure why, if I'm honest. I think, you know, she has a a good strike on the ball and, you know, she can create space if she actually hits the whip and then follows it up down the centre. Um, you know, invariably, I'd imagine she'd win the point. Still see the uh, the Dutch pair being slightly more aggressive than the uh, mm. the American South African team. So another point for a five-two lead. The Dutch pair. that phase again. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> a little bit of self yet again. I don't see the drop shot used all that often. Is there a reason for that? It hasn't been in this match anyway. I don't think these four players play that many drop shots. Um, they're more of a, I suppose, rallying kind of style. The men are definitely, you know, using the drop shots more nowadays. Like Yui uses the drop shot. I tend to use the drop shot, but then I know that I don't have the movement as well as these guys at the back of the court. So uh, it's a very effective ploy, though, isn't it? To definitely. Do, yeah. You've got to have good feel on the ball to be able to execute it. Otherwise, if you leave a you know a short ball, it's just asking to be just punished. Up, yeah. Yep. So they uh, come through and uh, means the Dutch have to do a bit more work yet before they wrap up this match. They so think that's probably the inevitable consequence of it. I'm checking my watch because hopefully it's going to be done before 2 o'clock. So you've got to be on court at 2, haven't you? You're going now? Okay, I'm going to have to. Uh, All right. I'm going to have to love you and leave you. That's fine. No problem. I'm sure that Bob's going to keep the viewers uh, entertained. It's been lovely having you here. Thank you very much for your time and um, good luck later on. Thank you. Might be back for the uh, the men's doubles after I've uh, done my warm-up for All right. Napo. Good stuff. All right. Off you go then. Enjoy. Take, take your the plate uh, with it because it's, it's, it's too tempting. <laughs> Just sitting there with your beans and uh, the roughage that's remaining. <laughs> Thanks very much, Lucy. This is Yuka with uh, her views on the women's doubles final. Uh, we have a little bit still to go. 4-3 in the second, 6-4 in the first to the Dutch pair. And uh, next up, as she alluded to, we'll have the men's doubles final. Seven Hude and Nicholas Pifa of France up against Gustavo Fernandez of Argentina and Michael Schaefers of the Netherlands. That'll be followed by the quad doubles final and uh, there are two Brits involved in that. Anthony Cottrell and Andy Lapthorne up against Brian Barton and David Wagner. That's later on this afternoon. But before that, so the uh, Dutch pair can finish off this final. Games away from it. The one seat. been set up by Dieter de Groot to win that point but um, ultimately done by KG and by Matthewson
Big collision into the uh, hoardings. KG. Oh, she gets off herself. Rattling after that lost cause. Yeah, when she wants to impose herself and add that little extra bit of firepower, it's there from Dieter de Groot. And the uh, Dutch pair are one game away now from securing the final. Five games to three. out too well for Dana today. Being attacked by balls now. <laughs> Ranging in from everywhere. Pressure again on the Matheson serve. Good deep second serve. Matthewson racket that brings up two match points. And one will be sufficient to take the match. 6-4. Thank you, umpire. So the Dutch pairing, the number one seeds, have beaten the number two seeds. And uh, so fairly convincingly in the end. That first set was a bit nip and tuck because of uh, dropped serves. But ultimately they got the job done. 6-4, 6-3. Back up their number one ranking. And we'll see the number two seed in the singles. Here's a group back in the women's singles final tomorrow. Right, up next we have the men's doubles final. Stefan Uday 
And Nicolas Pifa of France up against Gustavo Fernandez, the number one seed in the singles. will be up against Alfie Hewitt tomorrow. We have a little presentation as well, actually, before we, uh, before we move on to that. We've got a presentation party arriving on court. Let's so we'll look at some of the highlights of that final. So there will be a little presentation of the medals for the women's doubles final. Yes, ultimately, in this one, Dutch pairing were way too strong. Kind of what we expected, but um, took maybe a little bit longer to get the job done. We're going to have the sorry very soon for the women's doubles. And then uh, a little gap will bring you the men's doubles final. Good AMP for against... Fernandes and Schaefer's. And then fourth on court, last bit of live action we'll bring you today from Nottingham will be the quad doubles. Brian Barton and David Wagner up against Andy Cottrell and Andy Lapthorne. The American pair against the British pair will be fourth on the centre court. That's a bit later on. The doubles fire is not too far away, but uh, the presentation of the so the middle so actually looks like a very big trophy. <laughs> Two very big trophies. Run by the Tennis Foundation. For the women's doubles final. And uh, actually while we're waiting for that, good point to make about the uh, GB players, supported by the GB Wheelchair Tennis World Class Performance Programme, run by the Tennis Foundation, Great Britain's leading tennis charity. This foundation runs this program, puts on events such as the British Open in Nottingham as a way of inspiring more disabled people to pick up a racket and to play tennis. We currently have record numbers of disabled people playing the game and they're here to help any disabled person that wants to pick up a racket and play. So people can visit tennisfoundation.org.uk for further details. All the officials, all the alliance judges, umpire, etc., all lined up for presentation. Very impressive uh, couple of trophies, weighted collection. Well, it's going to be not a bad day after all, despite the uh, weather forecast. Indicating it's going to be uh, quite a bit of rain early in the day. Not the case. It's been dry so far. Tides are relatively high. I think we're pretty clear for the rest of the afternoon. So that's good news for everybody involved. Especially with the uh, competitors involved in the two matches to follow. As you heard Lucy Schuker say, she's got a mixed doubles match to be involved with. New Day is her partner because he won't be available for a bit because uh, he'll be involved in doubles next up on court. I think we're going to have a Welcome to the presentation ceremony. Okay, presentation the party ready to go. I just like to introduce Sir Jesse Cass, who's president of the Tennis Foundation, who's going to present the prize today. Thank you, Lucy. I was here for fun tennis this week. Another great. That was a very good uh, doubles final. It was a tremendous rally. Many organisations and individuals made this event so successful. We're indebted to our principal sponsor, Uniqlo, for their dedicated and continuing support. I want to thanks to go to Nottingham City Council and to the staff of the Nottingham Tennis Centre. 
Our 27 winners are Myron Fife and Didier Degree. So that's Baring take it. And uh, you, know, a few problems early on. Got it done in the end. First set, 6 4. A bit more straightforward. Second set. It's games to three. So number one seeds back up their ranking. And the scratch pairing of the American and the South African. In straight sets, as the uh, sun comes out in Nottingham, to uh, in a few moments I greet the men's doubles final. But that's our women's doubles final and our women's doubles winners of 2017. So the next match on this court will so be next up doubles. for you, whether you're watching on the BBC or Facebook. It will be the men's doubles final. Today in FIFA against Fernandez and Schaefer's. That's up next in a few moments. Time so stick around. Thank you. 